August 2, the substance of moral character, not boosting of things without our measure, that is, of others' men's labor, but having hope when your faith is increased, that we shall be enlarged by you. 2 Corinthians 10.15 You should keep off from Satan's enchanted ground and not allow your minds to be swayed from allegiance to God. Through Christ you may and should be happy and should acquire habits of self-control. Even your thoughts must be brought into subjection to the will of God and your feelings under the control of reason and religion. Your imagination was not given you to be allowed to run riot and have its own way without any effort at restraint or discipline. If the thoughts are wrong, the feelings will be wrong, and the thoughts and feelings combined make up the moral character. If you yield to your impressions and allow your thoughts to run into a channel of suspicion, doubt and repining, you will be among the most unhappy of mortals. Dear Sister F., you have a diseased imagination and you dishonor God by allowing your feelings to have complete control of your reason and judgment. You have a determined will which causes the mind to react upon the body, unbalancing the circulation and producing congestion in certain organs, and you are sacrificing health to your feelings. You are making a mistake which, if not corrected, will not end with reckoning your own happiness merely. You are doing positive injury, not only to yourself but to other members of your family. You have let your highly wrought imagination control reason. Had you no power over your feelings, this will not be seen, but it will not answer thus to yield to the enemy. You will, you will need to be sanctified and subdued instead of being arrayed in opposition to that of God. Man has been placed in a world of sorrow, care and perplexity. He is placed here to be tested and proved, as were well Adam and Eve, that he may develop a right character and bring harmony out of discord and confusion. There is a much for us to do that is essential and there is much for us to enjoy. Through Christ, we are brought into connection with God. His mercies place us under continual obligation, feeling unworthy of His favors. We are to appreciate even the least of them.